Yo, guys, today I have quite an amazing fragrance for you, and it's this guy right here, 24 Gold by Scent Story. Stay tuned. Hey guys, hey, welcome back to another video, and today I have one of the best oud-based fragrances ever that's under $50. Probably the best oud fragrance under $50, guys. 24 Gold by Scent Story. And before I begin this video, this video is sponsored by Notino. They sent me this bottle, but of course, all opinions are always gonna be my own. Getting right into the scent guys, the main player for this one is Oud, but it's not an animalic Oud, it's not fecal, it's a very soft, airy, elegant kind of Oud. So imagine Oud that's in Oud Wood by Tom Ford, that kind of light, fluffy, airy Oud. It smells amazing, very elegant, very wearable, that's the number one key thing with this fragrance. Even though it's Oud, it's super wearable. It's not like any other Oud out there that's a little harder to wear. If you guys are into niche fragrances, you guys know what those Oud fragrances it's our food tends to be a note that's just hard to wear but this one not at all easy to wear elegant smelling and just wow man it surprised me that at this low of a price point $45 roughly around that you can find this thing for they can make oud this good the second main player in this composition are fruity notes the fruity notes really blends in extremely extremely well with the oud the oud gives it this like light and dark woody kind of tone very airy dark woody tone but the fruitiness brings this really creamy kind of sweetness I think it has a little bit of caramel in it as well I didn't look at the note breakdown I just went off what my nose is telling me there's a fruity sweetness there's a little bit of an airy oud in there and there's a touch of something creamy like caramelly creamy stuff so this fragrance not only does it smell really elegant very delicious but wow, it's so, so alluring as well. Delicious, alluring, elegant. Those are the three words I would choose to describe this fragrance. I, as you guys can tell, I'm very wild by this. In terms of my overall opinion, you guys already see from my like reaction of it. I love this thing so much, especially it's because it's so cheap and it's just so creative and unique. I, I love it. I have nothing bad to say regarding this scent. Now, in terms of other people's opinion, however, it is a great fragrance. Fragrance is one of the more mass appealing oud fragrance out there. Not a lot of oud are mass appealing, as you guys know, but this one is more mass appealing than most oud fragrances. But it still doesn't stand up to the all star fragrances like you guys all know those fragrances that get massive, massively good reaction. This one gets okay reaction. You can't really expect much from an oud fragrance. The reason for that. I believe is that the commercial people out there are not used to the smell of oud. So when they smell oud, they'll give you one of three reactions. One, they'll think that it smells very interesting, very creative. Two, or they might just think you smell weird. Three, they're off put by oud. So yeah, it's not oud is not a type of scent that a lot of people are used to. And the general reaction being neutral or bad sometimes is pretty normal when you're speaking of the note of oud. Normal people are usually more used to citrus, sweet sweet or fresh, all right? So oud, always gonna be a more daring type of thing to wear. Now let's get right into the pros and cons of this fragrance and this thing has a lot of pros. Starting with number one, it is unique slash creative. Guys, at under $50 in price, you would never find a fragrance that smells remotely close or remotely as good quality as this fragrance right here. The oud in this smells incredible. It's not natural oud, mind you, because guys, it is $40. It's not a natural oud, but it is super, super good. It's mass appealing enough for those oud lovers to wear and for you designer lovers to maybe want to step foot into the niche realm, this is a good start and a very affordable start at that. Very good, unique, creative fragrance. I love it. And yeah, guys, if you love creative stuff, this thing is a must check out. Pro number two, it is super wearable. I have to touch on this thing again, even though I already talked a little bit about it at the beginning. It's super, super wearable. This is not a type of oud fragrance that you'll be afraid of putting on. Like, I'm not afraid of putting on three to four sprays of this like any time at all. Like, this would be a signature wintertime, fall time fragrance, literally. It's so wearable, you won't really offend anybody. The only time people get really negative reaction off of this fragrance is if they smell it way too close. But you know, in real life situation, that's rarely gonna happen. So guys, super, super wearable oud fragrance, definitely, definitely a pro. 
Pro number three, the price. Yes, guys, like I mentioned before, this is around $45 to $50 wherever you look. It's so, so affordable. It's super, super amazing. You're getting niche type of smell for a very lowish designer price, borderlining being a cheapy price. I know that this used to be like around $20 when it was first discovered, but not it's not that price anymore. But still, $45 is a super, super steal for me. And there's rarely a case where I praise a fragrance this much. This one just has everything for me. The, the quality for the price, the creativity, and the dollar amount. Awesome, the dollar amount is amazing. So guys, if you're looking for a bargain fragrance, if you're looking to step into the niche realm a little bit without spending too much money, I really cannot recommend any other fragrance than 24 Gold, all right? On to the cons, no fragrance has no flaws. I'll put that right now. Every fragrance has a flaw, even this amazing gem right here. And what could that be? The performance. Now the performance on this is not bad. I guarantee you not bad, not average, but could be better. Considering that this is a fall and winter fragrance, we really expect this to be kind of a monster fragrance, right? Because you're wearing in the cold, dry air and not a lot of fragrances will project. So you want a fragrance that lasts around maybe eight hours at the minimum for the fall, winter time and a decent projection. But this thing falls a little short of that. On my skin, I get around six hours pushing seven hours which you know, at seven is very, very fleeting, so I don't even want to count that. But the projection is also very moderate. It's around two hours, maybe pushing three hours of projection. Not the best for fall and winter fragrance. It could be better, so I have to take points off for that, but nothing to complain about at all. All right, guys, that's it for this review of 24 Gold by Sensory. I'd like to thank Notino again for sponsoring this video. And guys, if you're interested in this fragrance, the links to get it is in the description below. Show Notino some love, guys. They've been showing our channel amazing love lately, and I totally respect that, all right? He's giving us like free fragrances to review and to make contents for you guys. And the best part is, I have to say this right now, they say to me, Say whatever you want. They don't care if I do a negative review or a positive review, it's just my honest opinion. And that I respect 100% of the company. All right guys, so show Notino some love. The link to this fragrance is down below. And with that said guys, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out and bye.